Okay, so this Sunday we're celebrating the fathers in our lives. Do not forget Father's Day this Sunday. We're kind of kicking things off with some laughs a little early today. Comedian Michael Jr. is releasing his new movie, Selfie Dad, On Demand. Welcome, Michael Jr. Yo, thank you so much for having me. I'm pumped. I'm excited. This is so cool. Do you think Zoom is cool or the release of your movie is cool? Which one? Yes, absolutely. Yes. (laughs) Tell me about this new movie, Selfie Dad. I am so pumped about this movie. So I play a dad Mm -hmm. who uh, basically has a job that he doesn't want. Like he's a, he's a video editor and he's miserable and his boss is played by Shonda Pierce, who is funny, but they kind of go like this quite a bit, except for Shonda's white. So they kind of go like this a little, so I had to flip it anyway. um, So they don't get along and he doesn't like his job. So he's, so his son, he somehow creates his, he decides to create a YouTube channel. So the dad creates his YouTube channel and it blows up and he starts to get everything he wants, but he's losing what he really needs, which is to be a great dad, a mom. I mean, a great dad to his kids <laughs> and his wife. He don't want to be a mom. That's a different that's No, a different some movie. dads have to be mom too, right? Come on. Oh, that is true in an appropriate way. You're right. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So this is basically the story of you going through your middle midlife crisis. Is that fair to say? You're just yeah, like yeah, part? yeah. The character, me, because I'm only... 22 but the character so i had to play a character who's going through some midnight crisis and uh and then as a result he realizes what he really needs to do is make some changes so he tries to make these changes but it's a little bit of a struggle and and then comedy kind of ensues as a result of it so this is i'm really excited about this movie and the director actually allowed me to improv some of the scenes so we had the script written and it was laid out but then he was like you know what michael do one the way you would do it and a lot of that showed up in the movie so when people see it this weekend, when they watch Selfie Dad this weekend, I want you to see if you can tell which scenes were improv off the dome and which ones were scripted. It'd so probably the ones where we don't laugh as hard are the ones that you improv Okay. I see what okay. we're doing here. I see what just happened. <laughs> Take a little and stab. Now, stab a little, the brother. little yeah. zinger. Obviously, I'm joking. Did you study improv? I mean, comedy, being a stand-up comedian and mm-hmm. improv, I feel like, I don't know, are there similarities? They are because uh, comedy for me literally just follows me. Like I find funny everywhere. In fact, I just did a, uh, in in the, in this movie is a scene where I get pulled over by the police and, uh, and I hit some, some points that are very true for when a black man gets pulled over by the police. But at the same time, we actually were able to find some funny in it as well. And not too long ago, I shared a story uh, on my social medias about the police holding a gun in my head and pulling the hammer back, some crazy stuff. But then how, how light can come out of that as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing what people think about the movie Selfie Dad. It's, it's got to be hard for a comedian because I think I also kind of veer towards comedy no matter how heavy really? the subject is. Really? Because you I just try, took you, a zing at me. You just uh, yeah, took one see, at me. Yeah, see what I did? But yeah. it's got to be hard for comedians for you because there are such heavy things going on and not everybody thinks it's appropriate to laugh about it. But sometimes you have to get through it, right? Absolutely. I think laughter has a way of... Like, I'll talk about different nationalities on stage, and I think if the more we can laugh at our differences, the less, uh, the less differences we actually have. We realize how close we actually are to one another. And laughter also opens up your heart. So if your heart is open, I specifically want to make a deposit that's going to make a change. And that's what this movie does. Like, I think when people see Selfie Dad, not only will you learn and see a great story, but you're also going to laugh, and I believe a deposit is going to be made that could really change the game in a good way for you. I wanted to ask you quickly, because you've kind of performed in a lot of places, comedy clubs, talk shows, corporate events, but apparently homeless shelters, prisons, yeah. churches. How is that? Do you keep your routine the same or? So I don't change it. I change my routine based off of what that specific audience needs. What I mean is I don't judge them before I get there. But actually, that's a great this is a great question because you're getting some insight that I don't normally share. While I'm on stage doing comedy, I used to ask, what can I what can I do to get more laughs? But I start asking a different question, and that question now is, what can I give to this audience? And more times than not, it's more laughter, but sometimes it's something a little extra. In, in Nashville, we, the, the, short, the end of the story is, I brought a lady up on stage who was deaf, and her and her husband hadn't been on vacation in over 11 years. I didn't notice, I just impromptu asked the question, what can I give? I bring her up on stage, and they couldn't afford a special needs nurse for their child, is the reason they couldn't go on vacation. So it wasn't about money necessarily. So instead of raising money, we found a special needs nurse in my sold out audience who was in the top balcony and she came down, we introduced them and she took care of the child for her. 
So everyone has this gift inside, this ability. It's just a matter of connecting them in a way that they can be useful and people could be fulfilled as a result of it. I think that actually works in every job, every walk of life. It's not, what can I do for myself today? What can I do for others? And then you're going to get, you're going to get something in return anyway. I would be remiss if I didn't bring up the fact that hopefully I'm right. You have five children. You're a father of five children. I've got five kids. I do. Oh my goodness. Of kids. Is that so, why you have no hair? Uh, yeah. Thanks for pointing. Thanks for pointing <laughs> that out. I appreciate that a lot. It was shiny. The viewers didn't even know I didn't have hair. So you said something. Just now, they didn't know. I was because I was trying to stay up like this because you didn't know <laughs> for sure. But now, my boyfriend is bald. I have a a, a newfound uh, love for for the bald Uh-oh. man. Are you gonna try to fix it by mentioning your bald boyfriend? He probably at home with hair right now. Like, what is she talking about? <laughs> no, he's just got he, the little baby. He probably hair. at home combing his hair. Like, he probably going like this at home. You just making that up so you feel better about. He's got a man, man, but I'm sweating. You're making me sweat. All right, but you're, I mean, this has got to be, it's Father's Day weekend, Selfie Dad's coming out today. Um, you know, do you have a message for all the dads out there, just uh, positivity? You Listen, guys if you're a, role. absolutely, if you're a man out there, not just a dad, but dads keep plugging in, you are, you are so amazingly important. But even if you're just a man, you don't have kids yet, look for an opportunity to be a father like one. Because there's a lot of kids, there's a lot of people out there who didn't have that father who spoke those positive words to him with that bass in his voice in a way that they could really, really receive it. And there's probably a kid right around you who could really use a word of encouragement. Yeah. Your neighbor, you know, anyone, the, the kid that you see, you can be a father figure to them. Or, you know, if you got cats, be a good cat dad. Oh, cats. Yeah. Yeah. I don't agree with that at all. I'm just going to put it out there. <laughs> Michael Jr. MichaelJr.com selfie dad comes out today on demand. Where can people watch it? And any last parting words? Yes, so they can watch it on iTunes. They can watch it on uh, Amazon Prime. It's also going to be on Redbox. It's going to be all over the place. My friend, my boy Pookie got some in his trunk. But if you're into bootlegs, like he can make that happen. Just... I'm going to go find Pookie. Happy Father's Day, <laughs> Michael. You were completely awesome. You're so good at this. Thank you. Hey, you're awesome. That totally went like way longer. But see, that means you.